Thank you, Ellie. And students in Hancock schools were back in classrooms today, though some temporary changes are in place while repair work continues at Barkle Elementary. Last Thursday, a portion of the roof collapsed under the weight of heavy ice and snow, causing all schools in the Hancock district to, to dismiss students early and cancel classes for Friday and Monday. ABC 10's Cunard Bureau reporter Lee Snitz has more. In the aftermath of last week's roof collapse, the Hancock Public School Board was briefed last night and also heard from civil engineers and reviewed the state inspector's report. School officials believed classes would have resumed yesterday, but additional issues with the building were discovered. In the review on Friday, the state inspector said that we could go ahead and reoccupy the building. And then double checking, they reassessed it and they said that we could not. So that really put us out because we had made no lateral plans as a place to conduct school. We reached out in the old apostolic church, which is at the end of the block from us, opened their doors to us. And so uh, we certainly jumped at that opportunity. Um, the uh, Church of the Resurrection also uh, offered space to us to use. So we have some options. We have the luxury of of just good people in the community helping At us. the regular meeting of the Board of Education, operations and maintenance manager Robert Burnett explained that defaults in the trusses of the roof were found and need to be shored up before students could be allowed in the elementary building. Our goal is to have occupancy right after spring break, uh, and I think we're well on our way. As I think you heard from Mr. Mayette from OHM, contractors in the community just stepped to the plate. They're coming in to help us you know, rectify the, the issue and then also to help us to make sure that everything is absolutely up to par uh, when the students return. So uh, we're certainly looking at coming back from spring break uh, and being able to occupy it and get back to uh, teaching as normal. While students had the day off yesterday, school faculty and many community members spent the day making preparations for the rest of the week leading up to spring break. The teachers were working today to get materials down there, uh, make sure that they had everything they needed, talk, coordinated with cooks today, make sure that we can serve meals breakfast, all those pieces. Um, so those were all the logistics. So we'll be good for the rest of the week. So we're very excited about that. Today, repair crews worked in full force to repair the building. Most of the work is expected to be completed by the end of the week with contractors wrapping things up while the students are on spring break. It, it's very humbling how kind people are. We're very appreciative. I'm Lee Snitz for ABC 10 and the CW5.